And a lot of us remember Crystal Beach and the boats you could take to get to the amusement park in Canada. You know, but the city at the other end of the lake had a similar story. One told in a new movie called Boblo Boats, a Detroit fairy tale. In fact, one of those boats is right now in the Buffalo River. And what I found at the premiere last week in the Motor City is it's a film that will have many Buffalonians also getting nostalgic. Generations of Western New Yorkers, the Canadiana and her sister ship, the Americana, were the magical transports to a faraway land of fun called Crystal Beach. Well, Detroit had its own version of that, Boblo Island and the Boblo Boats, one of which has been undergoing restoration here on the Buffalo River at Silo City. Meanwhile, she's also the star of a new film released last week in the Motor City. We decided to write the narration from the perspective of Columbia, the Bobla Boat herself. Filmmaker Aaron Schillinger wanted to capture the emotions still attached to the park. Happy memories, along with the enduring sadness of its closing 30 years ago. He also wanted to capture the childhood magic of Bobla Island, along with her twin boats, the Columbia and the St. Clair. And yes, I do have a sister. Having a magical narrator Claire. could bring people, transport them back in time and to another place. And to do that, he called in a magical voice. If I should praise the Lord at all. That of Motown legend Martha Reeves. We performed on the Bablo boats. But she not only performed with her backup singers, the Vandellas, she too has great childhood memories of Bablo, just as we Buffalonians have of Crystal Beach. But the Bablo boat was a special thing. It was almost like going on holiday, but you didn't have to go far and you didn't have to spend the night. It's extremely relevant to people in Buffalo, and I, I feel like they'd really the story would really resonate with them. It's not only a place you went, it was part of your childhood. Exactly. Part, part of you growing up. And it was also a way to unite with other races. But it wasn't always a haven for all races. In 1945, a young woman named Sarah Elizabeth Ray was thrown off the boat because of the color of her skin. She and the NAACP took the case all the way to the highest court, represented by none other than Thurgood Marshall, and she won. There's a major Supreme Court case that is an international case in scope that happened, originated in the city of Detroit, fighting for racial equality on the Bablo boat. Her story, along with the restoration efforts at her home, are part of the film. And members of her family were part of the audience. It's just, I don't know if I have the words for it just yet. I mean, uh, this is all of a sudden for all of us. Uh, the limelight, the notoriety, the recognition. Uh, we're all just kind of taking it all in right now. I still remember so many things about Bablo. Stephen's brother-in-law owns the Columbia's twin, the St. Clair, and Stephen is now the ship's restoration manager. You know, the dance floor and the game room and the freedom that you had as a kid on the boat that you didn't have anywhere else. And after many stops and starts, including a devastating fire in 2018, he says they're now seeing light at the end of the tunnel. When you're working on it, what feeling do you get? Honestly, the, the first word that comes to my mind would be blessed. He says that repowering the ship is still way off in the future, but he feels if they can get a permanent dock site, he may be able to open it as a floating museum in the next year or so. I think there are more than a few Buffalonians who are sitting at home right now going, God, I wish I had a guy like that that would have saved the Canadiana. Do you feel oh, the weight of a city yeah. and the pressure of right, a city yeah, saving the yeah. St. Clair? Yeah. Um, you know what? I do. It's just one of many plot lines in the film, a film that is bringing back so many memories. I remember how the boat felt moving up and down on the waves. So many emotions. I became 10 years old again. And bringing people back to a simpler time. And it was the beginning of a wonderful adventure of a lifetime that I started on the Bablo boats. And this all brought it back? Oh, yeah. And the number of tears in the audience is unbelievable. And Aaron, the filmmaker, tells me that Buffalonians will soon get to see the movie. He plans to bring it to the Buffalo International Film Festival. It's uh, showing at 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon, the October 8th, at the Birchfield Penny. And once again, you can see the Columbia Dock tears. It's being restored. Yeah, right down the street from Gene McCarthy's in the old First Ward on the Buffalo River.